Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sara Sadek. Welcome to Smart Braces and Invisalign. Before we begin, please, I would love it if you haven't already to join us on this channel where you'll learn everything you ever wanted to know about braces. So please do hit that subscribe button and then also hit the notifications button so that you can make sure you stay updated about all of our new and fantastic videos. Today's video is a question that I often get asked from my subscribers and my patients. It's all about removable retainers that you receive after you've finished your brace or Invisalign treatment. I'm going to be talking about how you keep these clean. I'll be answering the questions. Do I have to clean my retainer? How do I clean my retainer? I'll be covering both Hawley's retainers. Here we can see a Hawley's retainer. So this would be a Hawley's retainer for the lower teeth. And you can see that it has a little bow at the front as well. And this is a Hawley's retainer for the top teeth. And this sits in your palate and it also has a bow on the front. And clear plastic retainers, which are sometimes called Essex retainers or Vivera retainers. Here we can see a close up of an Essex retainer. Vivera retainers are very similar, however, they are the type of removable retainer that Invisalign provides and they are called Vivera retainers. What happens if I don't clean my retainer? And at the end of this video, I'll be sharing some of my six top tips on caring for your retainers to make them last longer. So make sure you keep watching right until the end. Retainers help the muscles and tissues in your mouth hold your teeth into their new positions. And just as it was crucial to keep your teeth clean during braces, it is equally important that you keep your retainers clean. So your retainers, they sit inside your mouth against your teeth and you can imagine that very quickly they can accumulate food, bacteria, plaque and tartar. So just like you brush your teeth every day, it is equally important that you clean your retainers every day. So how do you clean them? Let's take a look. Both Hawley's and clear plastic retainers are great because they can actually be removed from your mouth to clean. And you need to clean them daily. To clean your clear plastic retainer or your Hawley's retainer, follow these steps. First thing, Make sure you clean your retainer as soon as you remove it from your mouth while it's still wet. This makes it a lot easier to clean off any debris that collects before it hardens. The next thing, brush your retainer with lukewarm water after each meal. It's a good idea to also brush your teeth at this time. For a deeper clean, you can mix lukewarm water with some mild dish soap and just get it really clean. Avoid using any toothpaste because toothpaste is abrasive and it can actually scratch your retainer, which is not something you want to happen. Here we can see a retainer that's been cleaned with toothpaste and what you can see here is that it has a cloudy appearance where it's been scratched and the reason this isn't good is because bacteria collect a lot more easily on these scratches. So you should just use a, gent a soft toothbrush to scrub away the plaque and debris. A little top tip actually is if you've got a cotton swab you can use this to clean right in between the little grooves of your retainer and it will just get them a little bit cleaner. The next thing you can do is actually ask your dentist about soaking your retainer in a denture or retainer cleaner. They'll usually recommend a tablet for soaking and what you do often is you'll place this tablet into a cup of lukewarm water and you follow the instructions for timing. Usually you soak your retainer for about 20 minutes in the, in the tablets. And if you notice that you have debris on your retainer that doesn't come off after soaking and after brushing, you can actually take your retainers to your orthodontist and they often have special solutions that can get rid of this buildup. So you may be wondering, well, what's the big deal? Why do I even need to clean these retainers? Well, your retainer keeps collecting bacteria and plaque from your mouth each time you wear it. And over time, it may even start to smell or it may taste funny if you don't clean it often enough. Keeping your retainers clean 
kills bacteria that causes a sore throat. And studies have shown that the retainer cleaning tablets that may have been recommended by your dentist or orthodontist are effective at removing these bacteria. So bacteria like Streptococcus can actually cause a sore throat in your mouth and they inflame your tonsils and can lead to a fever and ultimately you won't feel well. So this is why it's really important that you keep your retainer clean to avoid these bacteria accumulating on your retainers. So let's move on to Sarah's top tips for keeping your retainer super clean and making it last longer, which means that you don't have to spend as much money on getting new ones. So, number one, you need to avoid exposing your retainers to heat. High heat warps your retainers and they just won't fit again. So you need to keep your retainers away from boiling water, microwaves, dishwashers, washers and dryers, the dashboard of your car, and radiators. All of these things will warp your retainers and you'll have to buy new ones, which you don't want. Always wash your retainers in lukewarm water. Never use boiling water. Next top tip, time your soak. So, if you do choose to use tablets, don't soak a Hawley's retainer for too long. Okay, so a Hawley's retainer looks like this. This is because it has metal on and soaking them for too long can corrode the metal components. You only want to soak the retainer for the time it takes to clean it or as long as is specified on your cleaning tablets. Another top tip, if you want to freshen your retainer's smell and kill some of the bacteria, you can do a quick mouthwash soak. So this is where you'd soak your retainer in some mouthwash. However, if your retainer contains alcohol, only soak your retainer in this type of solution occasionally, as alcohol can harm the retainer's plastic. Next top tip, clean your retainer case. You need to make sure you clean your retainer case regularly. Try cleaning it once a day before you put your retainer away. Gently scrub all the surfaces with warm soapy water, then rinse it off and pat it dry. Now my next top tip is something that I want you all to promise me you're going to follow because this is the number one reason that patients come to me asking for new retainers. It's keep a watch. For some reason, dogs especially love to chew retainers and they can even choke on them. I can't tell you the number of times I've had people say, my dog chewed my retainer. Ah! So please look after them. Keep them stored in the case. Keep them somewhere high up so the dog can't get to them. It's probably the most preventable cause of needing new retainers but you know sometimes we can get a little bit careless and we forget to put our retainers away so put them in a case leave them somewhere high up and um, it'll save you forking out on new retainers unnecessarily likewise you need to be mindful of where you place your retainers while you're eating if you place it in a napkin then you may forget it or if you're out having dinner the, the waiter may toss it away in the trash oops Next top tip, replace your retainer as needed. Retainers are a little bit like contact lenses or shoes and they're subject to daily wear and tear and eventually they may need to be replaced. Essex retainers tend to last about two to five years and Hawley's retainers will last a bit longer, about five to ten years if they're properly cared for. So please do contact your orthodontist if you notice your retainer is particularly dirty or it's worn out or it no longer fits properly. So basically the bottom line is cleaning your retainers is just as important as brushing your teeth. You need to clean your retainer with lukewarm water once a day to keep it healthy. It's a good idea to brush it out after each meal as well. Now, obviously these are tips that I've given you. I do advise everyone watching this video always follow the instructions that you've been given from your orthodontist. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please do hit that subscribe button. If you're new to this channel, then hit the notifications button. Do you have retainers? What type of retainer do you have? How do you keep them clean? I'd love to hear your comments. Please share them. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.